All right, everybody. I greatly appreciate you tuning into my channel. Um, I'm BJ from the 478, and I'd just like to tell you I greatly appreciate all the support I've gotten from my subscribers because I've actually reached 10,000 subscribers at the moment and still growing. And I greatly, I just want to let you know I appreciate the support more than anything. Um, it goes a long way. And like I said, I use my funds um, from my YouTube to generate funds for the homeless and people in need in my area code and I greatly appreciate it so now today I want to talk to you about what I I actually drove the vehicle for the first time on you know on a 20 mile run so I actually drove it to work today and I like it I mean it, it drives good when I when I first did drive it initially hey I didn't go far but I tell you what um, lowering the vehicle just changes the demeanor and the stance. Um, you get a lot better handling. Um, it will smoke these tires out. Even though they're 24s, these are um, lightweight forged wheels and they're made um, of a lightweight aluminum and they, they just act like they're not even on here. These things are supposed to weigh as much or a little bit less i didn't have a scale big enough to actually weigh them i should have done it but i'm a, i'm probably going to take them off one day and actually do that um reason being because what they were saying was these were supposed to be equivalent to what my factory wheels was but man this this jailbreak will peel these wheels and these tires like an onion if i get in it so i try my best not to it got a little sideways on me earlier this morning um, anybody with a Hellcat or anybody with a scat pack, anybody with uh, a performance car would know exactly what I'm saying is I got on it and I'm probably going to put it back in the garage for a little while because it actually, um, uh, almost went into a building. <laughs> so we're not going to do that again. Um, but yeah, so this is a transparent, um, finish is brushed and then they, they cleared it and the, the lip is actually polish so um i need to go back in because they're a little to me a little on the dingy side and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna, I'm gonna get that good old mother's and i'm gonna i'm gonna rub it in and um that lip will probably separate the the tone from here because it'll be a lot shinier and it's something i haven't gotten around to do been meaning to do but i'll get it done um other than that something else i wanted to talk to you about um is that anybody with a Hellcat or anybody with any one of these wide bodies or standard body um, uh, chargers will actually know. And I want to say that the deck, um, um, my uh, my Hellcat uh, charger did it as well. This, when you lower these cars, even if you pay attention to them, they sit a little bit off in the rear because of the suspension and that battery sitting over there that battery in the trunk is on the right side and so what it does is supposed to be a counter balance weight that's the reason why that battery is on the opposite side if you didn't know now you know so it's on the rear in the rear towards the back but it's it's for balance on this car you know weight differential and all that good stuff but for some strange reason on all my hellcats they're lazy on this side now these are just factory well th these are uh h&r springs i'm sorry so um part number five zero eight 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 all right h&r springs um they are uh, a german engineered company but a lot of people don't know so is this frame and, and so is a lot of these parts on these dodges because that's nothing but a mercedes frame and so I want to say the the charger is um a foot shorter in the front a foot shorter in the rear and that's the reason and hence the two door this right here is actually takes the same frame but it adds a foot in the rear to the frame and adds a foot in the front to the frame and which hints the four door but that's the reason why i chose the h and r springs because it's got a lot of german heritage built inside this vehicle so <clears throat> If you didn't know, today you learned something new. Um, but long story short, uh, they tend 
to sit lower. You see right here? So this is an actual, um, just a, a regular drop, you know what I'm saying, with these springs. But I'm probably gonna go at, ha, inside and either A, um, raise it back up on this side, um, and I'll probably just buy some coilovers for the rear. That way I can adjust them and get it how I want. But see, on this side, that side over there sits a half inch lower than this side. And I guarantee you, if you've got one, you will know exactly where I'm coming from. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And every now and then, it will rub that tire. It won't rub it on this side, but it will rub that tire on the other side. So this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm about to get ready to get off. I wanna hit a couple corners, you know what I'm saying? Turn a couple of heads. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna put it back in the garage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I appreciate you tuning into my channel. Please like and subscribe, share this video. Um, if you have any questions, this is an Indigo Blue. Yes, it's factory. No, it's not a wrap. Um, this is um, a full carbon fiber front lip. Uh, I, I got the rocker panels, but the, I, I had an issue to where they didn't clip correctly and I didn't want to put $2,000 rocker panels on and one side didn't clip all the way and they're in the street. So I'm gonna fix that and make, make hangers to where they will actually, I'm probably gonna end up ribbing them from the inside and underneath so they will stay on there. But yeah, that's coming and there's a couple of things I got to do to the bumper. Oil catch can, please stay tuned. I got a lot more um, content for OCD Audio LLC, and we'll just go from there. Thank you, and I greatly appreciate it.